Hey YouTube, Mr. Ted here, uh, doing a video today, reviewing the Skag Turf Tiger 2 1 16th die cast metal replica. And boy, just right off the first top of the look at the uh, artwork on the box, just amazing. Uh, just like it would be on the fenders uh, on the Skag. Um, but let's let's take a look inside the box here. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like uh, you're out in the country. I know it's kind of hard to, to see. But you got the country scene on all three sides of the box. It's kind of hard to see that. We'll pull it out of the box here and take a look at this. Um, I don't know if anybody likes to collect anything like this, but I thought these things were just so cool to have. Um, I have I have another one actually uh, that that's going to stay in the box, but wanted to get another one so I could pull it out, uh, do a review of it, and uh, take a look at it here. Uh, just to really cool cool thing here uh, on this side of the box you got your skag power equipment and the skag.com uh, on the back side here gives your history of skag they were uh, first started in 1983 uh, gives a history of them there it talks about the turf tiger 2 uh, and it also has it talks about the uh, velocity plus deck there uh, and how it reaches up to 12 miles per hour uh, you guys are more than welcome to, to pause the video, read over this. Just just a really cool brief history there about the Skag Turf Tiger II and, and the company itself. Um, and then on this side of the box, is the same as the other side. Boy, what a what a neat package this whole thing is. I uh, can't wait to get it out of the box and take a look at it. Um, underneath the box here, uh, it's made by a company called First Gear. Their information here, you guys can take a look at it. And it has a website, you can check it out. And down here, you got your Skag part number along with the first gear uh, part number as well, and your barcode if, for anybody who wants to look this up here. Um, I paid $42 for this. Um, and then I got another one end up on eBay there. Uh, paid 49 for it, um, but let's uh, let's dive in here once. Okay, so I I open up the first flap here, and it has Skag simply the best here, uh, and then you have a caution here with that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and dive in here a little bit further. Okay, guys, so out of the box, this is it. Out of the plastic, uh, packed very well in there, nice and tight. Now you can see the uh, inside of the artwork. Of the box real nice here wow take a look at that this is so awesome like a kid in a candy store here let's take a look at the gears there. Let's see if we can get a good look in there. It's kind of hard to, I'm not sure if it's going to pull in here or not. That is pretty wild. Let's, uh, let's pull it out here once, take a look. This is pretty wild, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is really cool. This is really cool. This is just awesome. All right, take a look at the back side here. Wow, man. I don't know if anybody else has one of these. Uh, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Just awesome. I'm not sure, not sure what all operates in here. I'm not sure. This doesn't look like it lifts up. Uh, it doesn't look like doesn't look like the back here lifts up. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. It seems like it. Let me pause it here real quick and then I'll get back to you here. Okay, so this this doesn't lift up here. Um, I didn't want to break it. Um, seemed like it was really tight, but I'm not going to push my luck there on that. 
Uh, still pretty cool though. It looks looks freaking amazing. Just looks amazing. Uh, doesn't seem like the the arms move either. They're pretty pretty stationary. They, they're not moving. Um, as far as the front wheels on here, they actually they do move around. That's pretty cool. It's a little tight, a little tight. So when you when you're trying to move it, it kind of doesn't doesn't really turn as easy. Um, still pretty cool. Just an amazing die cast replica, man. Uh, underneath it, take a look here. It's got the the mower blades on there. They do spin. Um, just just awesome, guys. This is awesome. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely worth worth the money. I think uh, if you're if you're a collector of these, um, let me know what you think in here. Uh, if you have any any kind of die cast stuff that you like to collect, uh, been pretty slow here as far as being winter time uh, to make videos. Uh, didn't get much snow either to be able to pull the the John Deere out to to push the snow off the driveway. But there's always stuff like this that just just looks amazing guys this looks amazing pretty cool pretty dang cool all right guys well thanks for watching the video if you haven't yet already uh, hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell uh, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos uh, and again thanks for watching and have a great day